there. This is Steve at Aaron's Music Service. We have a uh, guitar for sale here I'll show you in a minute. It is a Martin D28 in 1969. I have here the uh, 2015 Vintage Guitar Price Guide. And according to this, a 69 D28 is worth from $6,000 to $7,500. I could show it to you, but maybe I'll just take a picture. Anyways, just an idea of what they think they're worth. This is a 69. You can see it's got the rounded off looking headstock before they retooled some time ago. It has Grover tuners on it. I'm not 100% sure that these are original, but there's no extra holes on that peg head. It has the uh, typical uh, double dot there at the seventh fret. And, you know, the usual stuff. You can see, looking at it, that it's been played quite a bit. And there's wear around the sound hole down in here. There are, there's a groove kind of built, you know, put into the top right there. Typical wear of a guitar that's been played a lot and loved. If you look at the back of the neck, you'll see... It's hard to see with the light in here, but there's some wear on the back of the neck where there's not much finish left. Right up here where you put your thumb, right behind the second, between the second and third fret. So, you know, or, yeah, between the first and second fret. And it's just, you know, typical wear and tear. It's the last year that they were made with Brazilian rosewood. You can see in that picture how much figure there is in this wood. It's hard to see with the light again, but they look a lot better than the Indian rosewood ones. And they're worth a lot more money than the Indian rosewood ones. I don't personally find a big difference in sound, but you can't get this wood anymore, really. So well, how does it sound? It sounds wonderful. <laughs> point out too it has been refretted at some time it doesn't have the small martin frets in it it has bigger gibson style jumbo frets in it and that's you can like that or not like that so if it's not your style to do that then you probably shouldn't buy it but it plays just fine the action's nice we actually did a heat press what they call a heat press on the neck not too long ago the action's nice and low on it and uh the neck is very straight the way you want them to be and, uh, yeah, it's a great sounding guitar, and it's for sale. So look at our ad. Thank you.